Hey everyone, this is Chris, but my friends call me Stones. Thanks for checking out my channel. Thanks for checking out my latest video. Two videos in a week after not having a video in about a month. Um, but I wasn't expecting this. I was actually driving home from the gym this morning. And I thought, it's a holiday weekend. The, night, the weather is nice. I know it's still early in the year, at least for Northeast Ohio, to have yard sales or garage sales. But I'm going to take my what I call my scouting route. It's the... It's the indirect way that I take home in order to look for signs for yard sales, garage sales, estate sales, thinking that there might be something going on, and I was right. I saw signs for a what they called a giant moving sale that started at 9 o'clock, so I rushed home, cleaned up, got ready, headed back out, and got there right before it opened at 9 o'clock. And I was really surprised that there wasn't more people there, especially with being this early in the year. And there's probably a lot of people like me that are anxious to get out there again to yard sales and garage sales. So, um, and this one was pretty nice. Um, everything, the, the sign said everything, were, everything was a dollar unless it was marked otherwise. And there wasn't a whole lot of stuff that was marked otherwise. So... It's one of those situations that at a dollar a piece, you kind of just grab everything that you see and you ask questions later, right? And kind of ironically, some of the things that I paid a dollar for, I felt like I was overpaying. But then some of the stuff that was marked up with special prices, I kind of felt like I was underpaying. So it kind of worked things out. But let me show you, I spent $42 total. And again, I really didn't even care because I felt like overall... For a buck a piece, most of the stuff was just a bargain and there was no risk involved. So, starting off with a couple small RC cars. These weren't really worth any money, probably about 10 bucks a piece. Um, this guy seemed like he had something, uh, This the guy that was moving uh, seemed like he was really into RC cars. Um, and there's, there's, there's evidence of that. Uh, this guy was a little older, but not too old. Uh, it seemed like he was old enough to have... Um, children but not old enough to have grandchildren yet um, and this type of stuff that he, that he had kind of reflected that so rc cars worth a 10 about 10 bucks a piece this is one of the items where i felt like i kind of overpaid but i got them anyways i've talked about these before thomas the tank uh, thomas the tank engine vhs if they're narrated narrated by ringo Starr or george carlin they're worth picking up lotting up putting together um, the earlier version is shining time station that was a show that featured shorts of Thomas the Train, and then Thomas the Train took off and got more popular, and they got their own show. But Shining Time Station VHS even has more valuable, uh, more value, but even individually. I don't have to lot these up. So I've sold this one, this specific one before, Billy's Party, and it sells for about fifteen twenty dollars. So I paid a buck for that. These are Silly Slammers, <clears throat> and they're new with tags. These are from 1998. You slam them on the ground, they make a certain sound. Um, this is like a burping one, so I couldn't find this specific one on eBay, but they sell, They don't sell for much, maybe 10 12 bucks a piece, but I thought those were fun for a dollar a piece. <clears throat> Moving back on to the theme of RC cars, this is a Play School Radio Control Cool Racer, and this is definitely vintage. Um, this is from 1995. It is new in the package with a little bit of schmooge, schmutch in the back there. Um, there's only two active listings for brand new ones, um, and they're both wanting like $40 a piece for them. Um, I might throw mine at $30 a piece, depending on the color or something. I know there's different color designs and stuff, but... $30 um, for this, maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> and then, Little's Pet Shop. This caught my eye. Anything Little's Pet Shop, especially vintage Little's Pet Shop, I didn't know it actually went back this far. This is from 1993. And this is nothing like the Little's Pet Shop that you see today. The little bobblehead, <clears throat> uh, soft rubber uh, figures. These are hard plastic. This is complete in the box. It's definitely not new. But it's got all the pieces, it's got the playset with the ice, it's got the two penguins, the seal, the bear, uh, the fishing pool, and the bucket of fish. And there's a brand new one sealed that's being sold, or it's listed for like $60. 
but I've seen complete sets of this sell for as much as $30 with the box, with a, with a little piece of paper in it. P people are piecing these out. They'll, they'll sell the, there's, they try to sell just the fishing pole or just the bucket of fish or something like that. So that's a nice little pickup. <clears throat> this Tyco City Skate and the Roller Girls, another vintage item, not really worth anything. It is complete, maybe 10 bucks. Here's a nice find for a dollar. Uh, Super Nintendo Super Mario World cartridge. Uh, very clean. Um, the label on that is really good condition. A little bit of a nick. Probably about $25 on that one. And here's one of those th things that I just kind of grabbed because it was only a dollar. Definitely a vintage toy. Casey Cartwheel. I do great cart cartwheels with you. Um not really worth anything i opened it up and it's kind of it's missing the um the stand because she starts off on a stand or she won't stand stand up straight and then she kind of cartwheels off of that stand the stand is missing i've seen listings for just the doll it doesn't sell for much maybe 10 with the box maybe maybe 15 dollars. i may just even donate this um back to goodwill or something like that um this one is something that's gonna catch me by surprise probably so i saw this it was brand new in the package i looked at it and it's forever best friends birthday blitz i've never heard of that before but i noticed that it was made by mga mga is the company that is behind um brat stalls and when i looked at these they kind of have a brat stall look to them and i started doing the kind of the math <laughs> and i thought well this this guy probably has children that are too old to have brat stalls so if this was a mga product these probably came out before the brat stall boom and the problem with mga products and i've experienced this before very rarely do they put the date on the box they'll put them on the dolls but they very rarely put the date on the box so i have to do some research i already did some research for forever best friends birthday blitz and the only ones that i can find that are complete in a box or brand new in a box is a set of five dolls that are people have listed for like over a hundred dollars so these could these could be considered a very collectible item the box is damaged but i can't find a two-pack of these best friends birthday blitz dolls i see a lot of in used conditions I see a lot of singles, but I've never, I can't find these two packs. So a little bit of research, maybe I'll find something maybe I want, won't, but I'm looking, I'm probably thinking 50 to $75 on this. This was an item that I paid up for, and that's what those, these last three, I paid $10 for this, didn't know it was marked up to 10 bucks, probably because the tag kind of blended in with the box. And when she pointed out it was $10, I thought I was paying a dollar for it. I went ahead and bought it anyways, knowing that I paid so little for everything else. So the box is a little damaged, but it's still worth it. This is probably going to be $30, um, what I can get for it with a damaged box. box isn't too bad. There's a couple little bends in the plastic, a couple nicks, but not destroyed. This is actually in much worse condition. I didn't show you the back, but the back is just crushed. Um, but still 30 bucks on that. Oh, I just realized this pops open, but it probably was never played with. Anyways, back to the things that I paid up for. Now these Pyrex sets um, caught my eye. Saw them originally and didn't think much. I just thought they were old sets that were some of, that they put back in the box. But these are factory sealed. Um, have not been taken out of the box at all. Now this particular set, this mix and bake set, it's a clear glass set so it's pretty common um it's got the the red the red printed uh, measuring cup so that alone is worth something someone right now has an open box set listed for 50 dollars on ebay they claim it's brand new never been used but the box has been open so maybe i can get 50 dollars for mine since it's uh completely sealed never been open at all uh, there is no past sales on this, probably because these items are pretty common when it comes to Pyrex, the clear plastic. Now, when it comes to the creme de la creme, 
This thing blew me away. This is a Pyrex four-piece mixing bowl set. It's the Autumn Harvest set. And definitely vintage. Both of these definitely vintage. Um, so the the active listings on this right now in new condition um, is about two hundred dollars. The last three past sales on this were all ones put into auction, which I think was a bad idea. But every one of them sold upwards of over a hundred dollars. One of them selling for one hundred and twenty-five. I think the more likely price on this is probably. 175 something like that uh, but I'm gonna give it a try so 175 on that you know on everything here I, I think I did pretty good for $42 um, that alone is gonna give me $42 back you know this is probably gonna get me more than 42 back um, possibly the radio control cars so $42 first garage sale estate sale yard sale of the year Pretty excited. Uh, we're back to that season again, and I think I did pretty well. Thanks for watching.